Hey there viewers, this is one of 26 of Game Over here. In case anyone has been wondering where I've been these past couple of weeks without an update, uh, the old computer I had completely died, it just stopped working, and I, the replacement I was using didn't have any power to film Let's Plays or anything, it was a pretty useless one. But now I've got a new one and I can use it, so yeah. Uh, obviously all the games I was in the middle of before, uh, they're gonna have to be put on hold for a while because my save files were lost with the computer, and I don't really want to play that much off-screen in the meantime. I'm not gonna let the story go through, you already know it, I'm assuming, if you're watching this. So, yeah, this, uh, is a good time as any to start a new game, I think. Now that I can record less plays again, and I can't record the ones I'm in the middle of. So I'm choosing a pretty fun game that I'm sure everyone who's played enjoyed. Uh, it has great graphics, has great sound, good music. It's kind of ch a little juvenile, but definitely difficult enough to make up for that. Just an all-around enjoyable game. So I spent just a bit of time trying to get used to the controls. Um, I'm still pretty horrible with them. Um, hopefully I should just uh, get a real controller in the future. But as for now, I don't really care enough to. Um, I am going to be trying to get 100% on every level, as I always do with these games. But we'll see how possible that is. I've been playing uh, Yoshi's Island DS a lot lately, but it's been a long time since I've played uh, the original. Probably a year or so. So, I'm not sure how well it translates between the two of them. I know the uh, two games are pretty much completely different. Right, um, in case you don't already know, uh, to get 100% in each level, you need to get 30 stars. Stars are like the life power. And you get 20 red coins. They look normal, but you can see it's like orange tinge between them and the yellow ones. And you need to get five flowers. Alright, it is really hard to, like, grab anything out of the air with your tongue, because uh, with a keyboard you can't hold that many buttons at the same time. So yeah, I'm hoping that's not going to be a huge problem. I'll probably just reconfigure my uh, control scheme in the future. In the meantime, again, it's pretty easy to find which coins are red and which ones are yellow if you have, like, one beside it to compare it to. Alright, uh, these two lips grab, give you stars if you spin an enemy into them. But it looks like that's a pretty big again. Okay, there we go. get the feeling that I'm missing some coins. Uh, I think that was it. Yeah, looks like. Alright, so we're fun we're fine to move on. Hopefully we're gonna get like three levels done this segment, uh, but that's probably not gonna be the same for every time we try. Because the longer levels are gonna be the later levels are gonna be longer and harder, more deaths, etc. Uh let's see. We need two red coins, one star or one flower, a fair amount of stars. As usual, I'm gonna be playing this without save states. Just because I can. Yeah, uh, the game is definitely not one of the hardest ones ever, but some of the later levels can be Insanely difficult, I guess. Uh, KMX Revenge brings to mind immediately. Uh, even the uh, even if you're going for 100% completion, then the earlier levels can be a little difficult because you miss something and you can't go back. Um, I don't know if we have full stars. Boy. Okay, we did. I'm glad I went after that. So yeah, the goal's just ahead, we've got 50% shot of playing a bonus challenge, since we have all the flowers, and... No. 
Ah, oh, well, I'm sure we'll live. So, a perfect 100 score, and it gives us a flower to commemorate it. Uh, if you get a perfect score on every level, then you unlock the secret down below, one of the two question marks. I get the other one by beating the game, so, yeah. Alright, uh, this level, it's definitely not as hard as the later ones, but it can be really difficult if you don't know what you're getting into. So, uh, these tops in background, they will jump into the foreground to try and kill you. And if one hits you, it'll probably take you down with it, so be careful about that. Uh, fortunately, this is a pretty quick level, if you don't uh, make any mistakes. Oh uh, yeah, that's just an infinite enemy fight that will keep giving you Shy Guys until you have six coins. Six eggs, forgive me. Uh, aside from that, aside from that, though, this is also going to be our first introduction to one of the morph bubbles in the game. Uh, we can turn into a uh, Yoshi helicopter to get enough, like, to get over to the next part of the level. Uh, the one, like, saving grace that this has, uh, while playing on a keyboard is that you don't need to hold a button to run, like in the original Super Mario Brothers or in the DS version. So, uh, you don't have to constantly hold down that many buttons. It's really just when trying to shoot things out of the air that you have to be careful of. Shoot things, grab things, either one. So yeah, um, there's a lot of red coins and flowers hidden for the uh, helicopter to find. And that's the only reason this level will take any time, trying to get them. As you can tell, you can walk into walls in certain places, it's easy to figure out where, you just need to look for the indents. Uh, with any luck, we should be able to get everything else this time. I don't think any of these are red. No, they weren't. Oh, well. Oh, we're almost there. Let's see if we can make it. So close, so close, so close. Oh, we made it, barely. Uh, how many do we have? Fifteen. Okay, so we've got everything. Good. Uh, the last red coins we can get, same with flower, we get them just over here. Alright, now we just need to play it a bit carefully and we'll be fine for the rest of the level. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use eggs a lot instead of uh, tongue to grab stuff out of the air. It's easier with eggs at the very least. Alright, uh, we're running shorter on time than I imagined. Right, at least we didn't waste time with a bonus challenge. So I am gonna just try to rush through this third level. Uh, I'll just be trying to get everything I can to get a perfect score, and that's it. Alright, so let's go, go, go! As you can tell, the map at the bottom of the screen it kind of has a clue as to what you're going into. So this is the cave mushroom level. It's gonna be the cave of Chomp Rock. Yeah, I remember all the early levels to some extent. The later ones, I remember every couple. Guys, the forts and the castle are pretty much it, the bosses. I, um, I don't think this post has anything under it, but I'm gonna have to check just in case. Okay. Yep, um, those crates, well, I think every single one has either, um, coins, maybe. I don't remember if they, if any actually have coins. I think some have keys and the others just have stars. Although I also am pretty sure there are some empty ones. Yeah, we can skip all the upper coins. If you look, you can tell they're not red coins. Uh, so this is our first introduction to Lantern Ghosts. They're essentially the same as Shy Guys, only... In fact, I think they are no different from Shy Guys, except they give a little bit of light in dark areas. Uh, the Nipper Plants, the mini white ones, those. Uh, there are also spores later on that turn into them, like later on in this level. Uh, eating them won't give you any eggs, but you can still take damage from them, so... 
and Chomp Draw. It can't hurt you, but you can get it in some annoying locations that can get in your way. Oh yeah, and if you ricochet eggs off, uh, off anything, a wall before it hits an enemy, uh, then it'll give you coins or stars, depending on how many times you ricochet it. Also, enemies turn into stars if they're on screen when you hit the middle ring. Alright, running short of time, so I'm gonna hurry it up again. Oh, there are the Nifrit spores. No eggs if you eat one as is. Oh, right, that's the difference. Uh, lantern ghosts don't, like, blow up if you hit them with an enemy. They just turn and they just roll. I'm gonna save that, uh, box for later in case we need it. But the key I'm gonna want right away. Assuming I can still get it. Okay, here we go. So, keys open unlocked doors, as this is the same for every game ever. But I don't... Uh, most of them in this game aren't for... Oh, I'd never seen that happen before. Got stuck in the wall. Uh, most keys in this game don't open doors to progress, they open bonus challenges. Throwing balloons. This is like one of the hardest ones. Uh, pretty much it's hot potato. Um, but I don't know which button is which. Okay, I know what X and B are now. Because all I really know is uh, lick button, throw button... Okay, I think I've got them. Yeah, this is a really hard game to win, though, so I don't know if I'll be able to do so. Because I don't even know when the balloon pops. If I can do this one quickly, this is probably it. Come on. Dang. Oh, maybe. Yes, so we get a 1-up for winning. And that was definitely worth the 2 minutes it took to do that. Whatever, I won, that's all that matters. And I nearly ran into an enemy, hooray! I think we have, yeah, we have 30 stars, so I don't need to worry about the trade for now, I'll save it for later, just in case I need it then. Ah, uh, that's another infinite enemy type. Um, I think we've got most flowers, and that definitely wasn't all, though. Because when you get all the flowers, you get a 1-up. Yeah, this is an area I definitely remember. You remember some secrets always, I guess. Oh, right, this spot. So, this is just a bunch of coins. Uh, it's not really mandatory to go here to beat the game, so I'm just gonna skip it here. Right, uh, that's the area right behind us, so we just need to use this top rock to get up a bit. It'll roll down our zone, and then we can use it as a... Oh, I guess it needs a slight push. Boy, this is wasting more time than I wanted. Right, that's all the red coins, all the flowers, and we have perfect stars, so let's just get to the end now without taking any damage. want to run into that, that would be embarrassing. Right, can we get a bonus game this time? We've got like a minute till the 15 minute mark. Right, finally. So yeah, the bonus games are just uh, quick games to earn one-ups or items if you're lucky. Uh, I don't know which one we're going to play here. We can do either um, Scratch a Match or whatever that drawing lots thing is, or flip cards, that's what it is. Right, this is, um, practically, you don't have a good chance of winning it completely. Toadie is nothing. Toadie's still nothing. And KMX an instant loss. Uh, the other cards can be, like, watermelons or plus stars or anything else. So we're gonna leave that here. Uh, this is one of 26 of Game Over signing out.